We are standing in the middle of nowhere in the United States. What province are we? I mean, what state are we? <laughs> we are in Marshall, Michigan. Well, not in Marshall, Michigan yet, but we are in Michigan now. Hey everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my vlog. Today we're going on a road trip from Vancouver, BC to Marshall, Michigan for SAE Super Mileage. So I'm part of a student design team called UBC Super Mileage where we build and design highly fuel efficient vehicles and we race in that competition. For this competition, we're bringing our gasoline vehicle. So this is my fourth year on the team. I am one of the members on the electrical division. So I mainly work on PCB design and firmware alongside dealing with the wiring and the batteries and the rest of the electrical systems and accessories required by competition rules and to make the vehicle run. For the past year, I've mainly been working on the electrical hose system for our hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. But then after that competition finished, um, we decided to shift focus and pour all of our energy into this gasoline vehicle. So between exams and competition date, I had like one month to learn this entire electrical system and understand how everything works. For the three vehicles that we have, luckily this vehicle is the simplest electrically, so there's not too, too much to learn and all of it is pretty straightforward. They're limiting it so that only eight people from each team can attend competition due to COVID restrictions. So I will be one of the lucky eight that gets to go. But because we are only bringing eight people, there's only going to be two people from the electrical division. And our team has decided that we will take the chance and not bring any of the electrical leads to competition. So I've been asked to act as the electrical lead while we are at competition. It's gonna be pretty interesting, kind of nervous. A bit of a nervous experience for me, but uh, overall I'm really excited. I'm also the main driver of our vehicle, having had the most experience in driving the vehicle and also because I am one of the few people on the team that is short enough to fit in the vehicle. It'll be the first SAE the team has been to in the past three years, I believe, because of COVID. So the last time I went to SAE was in 2019, when I was the first year, and I went as the backup driver for the team. There's only two people on our team that have been to SAE in the past. That is me and one of the co-captains. For everyone else, it'll be a pretty new experience. So I'm super excited, and it's time for us to hit the road. Let's go! Hello, we're on the road. We have Eric driving this vehicle, and we've got Jen in the back. We are going on a road trip to Marshall, Michigan. We are currently at Field BC in Yoho National Park. Taking a bit of a rest stop here, walking around. Very pretty actually. Good morning, it is 9.45 a.m. So we are at a motel in Medicine Hat. We arrived here at like 4am last night, so we got like 5 hours of sleep. Um, but everyone is awake and we're gonna hit the road again. Also, we stopped by Calgary and picked up Lucas. So we have 4 people on this road right now. <laughs> we are on the road again, leaving Medicine Hat at 10.30am. And we're hoping to get to the States today. Today is day 2 of our road trip. Hello, we are currently in Saskatchewan. It is currently 2 p.m. and we are taking a break. We're with Lucas right now. He just magically appeared sometime between, you know, now. Yeah, the in Saskatchewan. Yes. Looking at the weather, when as we look to the west, it is quite dark and cloudy. But then we look towards the east, which is where we're driving. And it's slightly less dark and cloudy. Hello, we are 
in the city of Weyburn filling up for gas. It is 5 p.m. and we're heading towards the U.S. border and we're planning to cross it pretty soon. Hello, we have just crossed the border. We are in North Dakota and it looks exactly like Saskatchewan. Hey, I think I'm avoiding more hills. Okay, Lucas claims that there is slightly more hill. I don't really buy it though. It, it looks the exact same. We are in America. Uh, we still have several hours till we, our planned stop because we want to cover 12 hours of driving today so that we have 12 hours to go tomorrow. And, you know, competition's coming up, so we're excited. Hello, we are somewhere in the middle of North Dakota. There's a lot of mosquitoes outside, so we're just chilling in the car because I don't want to get eaten by mosquitoes. It's either 11 or midnight. Okay, it's 11. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. And we are going to carry on for a couple more hours so that we can get to Marshall faster. It is 4 a.m. and we are somewhere in Minnesota. In the distance, we can see the sun is starting to rise. Looks like we're not spending the night anywhere, so we're just gonna keep driving. Good morning, we have made it to Wisconsin. We're kind of in the middle of Wisconsin right now. So we passed through Minneapolis. It is 8 a.m. It is now day three of our road trip. No, we did not stay overnight anymore. We just kind of kept driving and walking dry ourselves. It is also pouring rain. And here we are taking a stop to stretch our legs and grab coffee. We are chilling in the car in Wisconsin, waiting for Lucas to grab coffee. Hello, we are currently in the States. I'm not entirely sure where, to be honest, but it's pouring rain. We're somewhere between Milwaukee and Chicago, I believe. It is noon, and we just had lunch at Taco Bell. And now we are walking back to the truck. We we're making pretty good time, and we should be able to get to Marshall, Michigan by like 5 p.m. And voila, we've made it back to the truck without dying in the rain. Hello, we are currently in Chicago. It is pouring rain outside. We are in Michigan, and it is still pouring rain outside. The rain just seems to follow us wherever we go. I think we're just bringing the rain everywhere we go with us. Currently at a hardware store picking up some supplies and tools. Yes. Hello, it is 1 a.m. right now. We are waiting in the hotel and the road trip crew has arrived in Marshall, Michigan while the flying crew is driving and they should be here very soon. We've just been chilling in the hotel so far. Uh, I've been editing my vlog and our bloopers video during the duration and we have an early morning tomorrow as competition begins. We are super excited though. Good morning! It is day one of competition, and we are on our way to the Eaton Proving Ground. I am in the car with Aaron and Mark. Hello, Mark Mood is speaking. <laughs> We're gonna win. Hello, Nathaniel. So we are currently waiting in line. They're not really letting anyone in yet. Hello, we are at the Eaton Proving Grounds. We have gotten out of the vehicles and now we are waiting to unload stuff.
here we have Sara and Jen wandering through. We spent that morning unpacking and setting up our workstation. However, when we unloaded the vehicle, we discovered that one of the steering handlebars broke during transportation, so we had to spend the morning fixing it. During this time, Sara and I did a quick check of the state of our electrical system. Hello, electrical update here. A wire broke, so we just fixed it. We're lucky that there's no huge disasters on the electrical system yet. Battery not a bit of a thing to deal with. But otherwise, the system seems to be working okay. We'll have to test it once, like, the steering wheel is set again. But hopefully it works well. As we waited for the fixed steering handlebars to set, VMech worked on the windshield. In the meantime, this vlog became a momentary nature documentary. Then we tested the system to make sure everything was working as expected, and off to tech inspec we went. Hello, we are about to go through tech inspec. We have our vehicle nice and ready to go. And ahead of us, we can see the lineup. There. The static checks was the biggest bottleneck in the technical inspection line, so it took us a while to get started in the after technical inspection section. We made it through most of the static checks, but at after an hour, that was the end of the day for us. Afterwards, Eric and I went to the captain's and driver's meeting while the rest of the team started packing up, and then we ate dinner as a team and went back to the hotel. Back at the hotel, we had a meeting where we made a game plan for the following morning. The next morning, we set out with our game plan, and we were the first in line for check inspection. However, we got held up during the static check with the firewall leak test, which took us a while to fix. When we finally passed the static checks, it was time to move on to the dynamic test. First was the roll leak test to ensure it could withstand a force of 250 pounds. Next up, tilt test to check vehicle stability. The vehicle is placed on a 20 degree ramp, and then the driver climbs in to ensure that the vehicle doesn't roll over. Michelle, thoughts on the tilt table test? It was scary. <laughs> That's what we that's what we like to hear. Next up is the driver exit test. Three, two, one. This is to ensure that the driver can get out of the vehicle in the event of an emergency. There are two variants to this test, one where the driver has to get out on their own, and one where the teammates have to help the driver get out in the event that the driver falls unconscious. How'd that how'd that feel? Great. Hello, so we passed visibility test. I accidentally called a star a triangle at first though. But <laughs> she said. But then I, yeah, I just don't I just don't know my shapes apparently. Next up was the turn radius test and the slalom test, which was to test the maneuverability of the vehicle. Finally, it was the last part of the dynamic test, which was the brake test. For this test, we needed to drive between the two yellow lines in 1.5 seconds, and then stop before the red line. Brake! This test was actually quite difficult and took us a couple of attempts. Brake! It was difficult to find a balance between going fast enough to pass the requirement, while going slow enough to stop before the red line. Brake! Break, 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 break. <laughs> We ended up passing, but at what cost? We just passed technical inspection. Yes, Michelle, mm -hmm. destroyed destroy Yeah. <laughs> I may or may not have destroyed a Leo. Whoops. Mm -hmm. I've been destroying a lot of things in the car recently. So we did the swallow test. First time I did it. So but I hit a cone, so that didn't count. So then we redid it, but this time I was slow. So then we had to do a third time, and the third time took like 10 seconds. Then we did the brake test, and that took like six attempts. No, it was just like you were doing exactly what they asked, it was just not in the right yeah. distances. Yeah. So they kept it like yeah. It's hard to see where they do it too. It's just the issue. Here we are off the track. It is burning hot. After replacing our broken tire, we went to the track to scout out spotting locations. Then we did our final preparations for our vehicle, fueled it up, and by 3 p.m. we made it out onto the track. Oh, okay. shit. Okay.
quiet respect Start from one, one, please. No, Ooh. Ooh. At the end of the day, we went to the award ceremony. Then we took photos with our vehicle, cleaned up our workspace, packed away everything, and went back to the hotel to celebrate. Hello, so we just finished SAE. We came second place overall, and we won third place in the overall design challenge, and we won the Best Team Spirit Award. We became very good friends with our Canadian neighbors from Laval University out in Quebec, although they beat us in the very end for first. Here is our second like place a... trophy. Okay, uh, right. We got a total of 1,038 miles per gallon. So competition ended and I made it out into the track one time. It was really, really fun. Engine was rooming, I was zooming. And I swung that flag to zoom out. Yeah. Very great. Sara was our flag waver. I actually lost all communication with her captain <laughs> during the run. So I was like, hey man, if you, if you can hear me, just I have no idea what lap I am. Just please wave the flag on the last lap. <laughs> and you know, I don't think you heard me there either. But um, we had a pre-approved plan to wave the flag on the last lap. So every time I went around um, and passed close to them, I was looking for, to see if the flag was being waved. And if I just saw them sitting there chilling, I was like, just all right, we while you were out good. There hard, hard. And then on the final lap, as I passed through somewhat close to the finish line, I looked to my right and there was a giant Canadian flag being waved. And I was like, all right, this is the last lap. I am coming in right now. And then I came in in the wrong place because uh, instructions were unclear. <laughs> but, but they seemed pretty chill with it. I'm past the finish line, so I'm good. Yeah, so at least I crossed the finish line. There was an issue with the starter motor connection and we tried to debug it and we found the issue for it at the very very end but then we ran out of time and we couldn't fix it before the last run of the track so then we couldn't get a second run in so elect team is sad about that so if we were able to get a second run in um we could have gotten a much much better mileage because i wasn't driving very efficiently and um, there was a couple of turns i took where i was taking the very scrapey route and also I was going a lot faster than I needed to go because I couldn't tell the speed and, and yeah. there were multiple improvements a few small improvements to the car we made as well we are going to take a five day road trip back to Vancouver and stop at a few places along the way
we're stopping to eat Dairy Queen because it happens to be right next to the Jolly Green Giant. We are currently in Montana, stopping at some random gas station. I have no idea what town this actually is. Last night we stayed over in a place in Wyoming, and it was a pretty nice place to stay. We got hit by a thunderstorm, and it was pouring rain, so we had to like run through the rain to get to where we wanted to get dinner. And then it was quite the interesting experience. to go to a barbarian themed town. Stopping for lunch and exploring the area.
are an hour away from the Canada Canadian border, and we've just stowed in our arrived can stuff. And I did not know that until like literally four minutes ago. Competition ended, and we are back from our road trip. Border crossing was very smooth. We went to UBC. We got there a little bit past 10 o'clock and we started unloading. We were able to unload pretty quickly because we had some extra hands. And before midnight, we were able to unload everything from the truck and throw it in our shop. And then I went home and I got home around like 1 a.m. That was actually the last SAE super mileage potentially ever because the company that sponsors SAE super mileage wants to shift more towards electric vehicles. And since this is a gasoline vehicle competition, um, they decided they're no longer gonna sponsor the event. Although that was the last SAE super mileage competition, that's not the end of UBC super mileage. We still have another competition that we typically tend to attend, that's the Shell Vehicle Marathon. We will continue attending that in the future, although we do have three vehicles and currently we're only allowed to bring two vehicles to the Shell Vehicle Marathon, so we'll see, have to see what we end up doing with our gasoline vehicle. I'm really happy with how our team performed, especially since the beginning of May. There was a lot of us on the team who had just barely worked on the gasoline vehicle before, and during the span of this past month, we were able to work it through and figure out how to understand it. Overall, very fun road trip and very fun competition. I've had a lot of fun during the entire process. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I, I have no idea who's gonna watch these things, but you know, if you like the content you see, I, I will probably make more vlogs in the future. But in the meantime, if you like my channel, you can also check out my transit race videos. And I also make a couple of videos for the UBC Super Mileage YouTube channel, so you can check those out. Anyways, thank you for watching this vlog and goodbye.